A military combat medic is back in Austin after spending nearly two months helping fight against COVID-19 in New York City. And so this afternoon, KVU's Derenisha Heron spoke with her about her experience and how she thinks Texas is handling this pandemic. I know that I went there and I did the best that I could. U.S. Air Force Major Angela Murphy has 17 years of nursing experience under her belt, and some of those years were spent in Afghanistan. So I've dealt with some mass casualty situations in the past. But fighting an invisible war with COVID-19 in New York City is an experience she will never forget. People were just coming in right and left to where you couldn't even find a place to put them because there were so many people there that needed help and they were all critically ill and all of them needed immediate attention. Murphy is the chest pain coordinator at St. David South Austin Medical Center. She was among thousands of troops deployed to NYC the first week of April when thousands were being hospitalized a day and people were dying by the hundreds. I think in the middle of it, you, you felt helpless and you thought it was never going to end and you prayed every day that it would end. A feeling she hopes to never experience again. After almost two months, Murphy is back home in Austin working, but the situation has changed dramatically since she was last here. Texas is now one of the state's hardest hit by COVID-19, but like Murphy, the state's governor learned from the devastation in New York. They're constantly just thinking ahead. And um, I think that that has been great for Texas in the fact that we had more preparation than some of the hospitals in New York because it literally just fell apart. Murphy encourages you to do your part. Even though I wore the uniform, we are all soldiers in this fight. In Austin, Darren Heron, KVU News.